In biomedical research, the smallest things can make the biggest impact. This is especially true at the new Nanotechnology Innovation Center of Kansas State, or NICS, housed at the Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine. This center is comprised of interdisciplinary faculty that will conduct nano research in the field of biomedical applications. And our mission is to enhance this interdisciplinary collaboration and also work with faculty on different colleges and in different departments such as chemistry, physics, and engineering. We hope to have some great integrative type of research that would be unique for biomedical applications. The researchers at NICS design materials at the scale of 1 to 100 nanometers, sizes that are less than a thousandth of the thickness of a piece of paper. People have been building uh, small structures for, for a very long time. That's really what chemistry does. But it's through electron microscopy, we've been able to really see what's going on on this level. And when you can see what's going on on the small level, then you can design on the small level. If you can't see it, you can't design it. The problem is since these nanomaterials, they're so complex and diverse, it's hard for us to predict right now how they're going to interact with, say, the proteins in your body with your cell membranes. So I can use computer simulation to see how these interact, and this can help us to design these nanomaterials to become nanomedicines. One medical use for nanotechnology the center explores is how to deliver drugs and other substances to cells that need treatment. In our laboratory, we work at the interface between biology, chemistry, and engineering. So when we talk about the drug delivery, the final target where we want to deliver the drug is the cell. I work in the surface modification of the nanomaterials such that these nanomaterials can be targeted to the specific cells which has a specific disease, and these nanomaterials can be loaded with various payloads like you know, small molecules, contrast agents, fluorescent dyes, that will help the clinician in the operation room to visualize the events. Microneedles present an exciting application of nanotechnology. It allows us to minimize the pain during injection, which will be beneficial for patients who have needle phobia. And also, I imagine that it can be self-administered so that it can be beneficial for people in developing countries where the medical infrastructure is not well established. Nix is starting to shed light in the growing field of RNA research and how these molecules interact with different types of nanoparticles. Ultimately, it may be possible to use nanoparticles to essentially deliver RNA molecules into cancer cells and to essentially change the, the gene expression program that has actually made them cancerous, it may be able, possible to use the nanoparticle to deliver that RNA when bound and when we understand how to do this well into the cancer cell and change its cancer-promoting gene expression pathways. This center is extremely well positioned in the country because we have the opportunity here, we have all the equipment, we have facilities, state-of-the-art labs, basically to take from the bench a nanoparticle or an RNA molecule, to characterize it on the bench, to move it into cell culture, to move it into animals, and to essentially create nanomedicines right from the scratch, bringing them into animals, and that is why I'm here. NICS director Dr. Nancy Montero Riviere's research has focused on assessing the toxicity of nanomaterials and how nanoparticles interact with cells and proteins in biological systems. Current research has been focused on the cellular uptake of nanoparticles, describing the protein corona formation and biodistribution in skin. NICS is also home to an advanced analytical laboratory and an electron microscopy facility featuring both transmission and scanning electron microscopy. This facility is available to assist researchers from NICS, as well as other investigators from across and beyond campus. I think we have the right mix of individuals that will make this a very unique center. We're located in a veterinary college, which sometimes people are wondering why. Why a veterinary college? And I think it's because we can look at all different types of species of animals within a veterinary college. Whatever we do on an animal can be adapted to humans and vice versa. I think it will foster new ideas in veterinary medicine. To learn more about research at the Nanotechnology Innovation Center and the services at the Electron Microscopy Facility, please visit the NICS webpage.